do, let's dive in and talk about Fabric. So what is Fabric? Well, we launched Fabric in October of 2014 at our flight conference uh, in San Francisco, and it's uh, a suite of mobile tools that help you build the best apps. And in the year from October 2014 to October 2015, we saw phenomenal growth. I mean, we were really staggered by how well this thing went, um, and we're humbled that um, now over uh, 225,000 developers actively use it. But I think this number is the standout one. Over a billion active devices have Fabric uh, in them today. So even if you've never heard of Fabric before, there's a very strong chance that the phone that's in your pocket has some Fabric code running on it. So fine, great, we can stand up here, pat ourselves on the back, show you some large numbers, but that's not really that exciting, right? I think what's more interesting is what happens next. What are we doing this year, and how are we pushing the Fabric platform forward? And so that's what I'd like to talk about. So Fabric today is made up of these kits. These are kind of pockets of functionality um, that are available a la carte, so you can pick and choose the ones that are right for your app or your business. Um, you can combine them in, in different ways, um, but they're kind of for you to select. And these are the five kits that Twitter produces today. So let's go through what they're for. Crashlytics is our kind of the one that most people know. It's kind of our flagship kit, I guess you'd call it. And that's for crash analytics. So this is helping you build a stable app, an app that your users can rely on to get whatever it is that they're trying to get done, done in a stable way, enabling you to um, build a reliable business that creates good app store ratings and just has an app that people trust. It also involves beta distribution. So, um, improving the workflow of getting uh, early builds of your app out to um, you know, testers or investors or whoever it might be is a really critical step of you achieving a good quality stable app, and so we want to enable that as well. We then have Answers, which is our real-time analytics product, and unlike a lot of analytics products that are on the market, Answers is absolutely real-time. So if you want to know who is using your app right now, this second, what are they doing, what are they up to, Answers is the tool that can help you achieve that. We then have Digits, which is our solution around phone number sign-in. Um, increasingly, especially in developing regions, um, the first device that people use when they come onto the internet is not a laptop, it's a phone. And therefore, the first piece of identity they have online is not an email address, it's a phone number. And in a lot of ways, the phone number is a better source of identity than an email address. I mean, I think personally I've got four or five different email addresses, some old, some I don't check so much. I have one phone number, and it lives with me. So the phone number is a really excellent way of kind of pinning down an identity. You carry it with you in your pocket. And so we want to enable you to use the phone number as the primary identity source in your app. And so we've enabled this using uh, digits. We then have Mopub. I won't talk too much about Mopub uh, this evening, but there are one or two Mopub people tossed around. So if you do have questions, please come and find me afterwards, and I'll point you in the right direction. Mopub is our uh, ad exchange platform that helps you leverage the technology that Twitter's built about displaying ads. Um, and kind of curating between uh, multiple ad sources in real time to make monetizing your app um, really simple. And then lastly, the Twitter kit, which is the kit that enables you to um, embed tweets and tweet conversations into your app to make them feel alive. So um, that, that covers quite a lot, right? That covers quite a few of the challenges that you will face when building a mobile app.